<laughs> oh. Right, well, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for coming out and paying $8 to come see us. And big thanks to the people who got ripped off and paid $13 at the door. Uh, that, money, that money goes a long way towards paying these two guys to come out and headline. <laughs> yeah, those, yeah, those two guys, they're taking all that money with them. Yeah, they're taking it all. So yeah, th thanks guys. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, so once again, give it up for our headliners. Give it up. Yes. Jim Brewer and Master Blaster. Thank you, guys. Thank you. And opening, you know, opening for Jim Brewer has been a dream of mine ever since I was a kid. <laughs> and, you know, he hasn't aged well. <laughs> he hasn't. <laughs> he hasn't aged well since then. But, no, I mean, okay. So, yeah, Pat Truer, you said his name? Pat, Pat Truer? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, so you're probably not Master Blaster then, are you? And, and, and you, don't, you don't run Barter Town, do you? No. All right. Well, shit. Damn. <laughs> Actually, I, I do know y'all's names. I do. I just think they're stupid. I think they're stupid <laughs> names. It's like both of you wanted names that say, I'm right about everything, so fuck you. Like... like I mean, is truer even a word? I mean, that sounds like just some made-up bullshit. Like, yeah, well, yeah, what that guy said was true, but what I said was, was truer, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you guys, just going, just going from town to town, taking everyone's $8, just <laughs> freaking pricks. Just, <laughs> I mean, who are you? Oh, I mean, no, I'm sure you guys are great. It's just, I think y'all need a little humility and a little perspective, which I think perspective in this case comes in the form of accepting that we've had some pretty funny jokes out tonight. We're having a good time, but this is still probably like the 40,000th funniest thing happening in the world right now. You realize that? <laughs> like, the only reason we're in the top 40,000 is because most people are, like, working or trying not to die. Like, there's a shit ton of people in the world, guys. There's so many. Like, I mean, I doubt, like, I've been making jokes my whole life, but I doubt I've ever even come close to cracking the top 1,000. There's just no way. I mean, right now, I guarantee there is somebody literally slipping on a banana peel. Like, that is reality. That is somebody's reality right now. That is what I'm competing against. So thank you guys for wasting your money coming out here. Because like, like, God is not watching this. God's got better shit going on. There's way funnier things going on in the eyes of God right now. Like, like you guys remember when Randy Johnson threw that fastball so hard and made that bird explode? Like, that might not have even been in the top five of the funniest things happening in the world right now. It was definitely on God's radar, but like nothing I've ever done compares to making a bird explode with a 100 mile an hour fastball in a major league baseball game. Like, are you fucking kidding me? That happened. That really happened, guys. But anyway, anyway. Anyway, how was y'all's 9-11? How, how was that? <laughs> there you go. That, yeah, that was a couple days ago. Yeah, I mean, Friday the 13th is significant. Friday the 13th is significant, but 9-11 was kind of spooky too, you know? Like, I was, you know, I mean, I, and I'm glad that we're finally at a stage where I can make a 9-11 joke and some people will laugh. You know, you know, that's the sign of the times. I didn't think it ever happened. Because, I mean, remember what I was saying, how, like, at any given time, there's millions of people being funny all over the world. Well, when 9-11 happened, that number took a big dip. <laughs> but the thing is, but here's the thing, that it didn't drop to zero, okay? I guarantee, I guarantee that somewhere out there, the first funny 9-11 joke happened. And it was like six seconds after the first plane hit. Like somebody said something that was so brilliant, so 
just right on the money that everybody in the room is just like, no, just like, oh, dude, no, you freaking asshole. This is 9-11. It's happening right now. Oh, my God. You're such a piece of shit. <laughs> right? Oh, man. So, anyway, the point being that if you want to be number one, like, that's the kind of commitment it takes, people. <laughs> that's what it takes. You want it that bad. Anyway, I'm, I'm just going to stop talking, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, so much. Nobody saw that. Oh, I love Spencer so much. That was great.